glasses! This right here, this is the real deal. What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna talk about my, my camera gear which is Sony A6500 and I bought this camera like last month and I've been using this camera like almost every day for vlogging and for different stuff and I'm like totally in love with this device. So I got this lens with this camera which is not that impressive, it's like 1650mm, like it has a decent zoom but it's not that great so I'm using Sigma 16mm on this camera and the camera works so good like if you see the bouquet effect behind me and which is like I love that like now sometimes like if I forget my Sigma lens at my home and I have to shoot with this one I'm like oh shit I wish I had the Sigma lens you know focus 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 so the autofocus of this camera is so like it's like top notch and it's really quick see, see. See, it's like super fast, it's super quick, and you, you have different video options to shoot with, so you can use 4K video option, which is, I don't think, which is very necessary for vlogging, but if, you, if you're using, like, cine, if you're doing cinematic stuff, and if you're, like, traveling around, so I feel that 4K is obviously better than shooting in 180p, and then you have an option of 180p. Uh, you can just increase up to 120 frames per second so you get that extra slow motion shots and you have also have, a, have an option of 120 and 60 frames per second and 24 frames per second in 180 but you have an option of just 24 and 30 frames per second in 4k so you can't really do a slow-mo in 4k but like the even if you shoot in 180p video quality is like top-notch with this lens because the sharpness is like so good like it's ridiculous like I I, I like I've, I've shot like so many videos and so many vlogs with this camera that I'm in love with it uh, you can just click a link over here and you will see my latest vlog and it's like to it's like all the all the videos are with this camera what we've got here is stabilization so the stabilization the stabilization what they use is five axis stabilization so right now I'm using Joby Gorilla 3K tripod which is very good to support this camera and it costs around 50 bucks but when you do the handheld shots uh, it's not that great 60% of the time it works every time when I'm walking upstairs if you would feel a little bit bump in the video yeah like it's not very stable as you would get the stable shots from the gimbal but it's it's it, you would get a decent stable shot so uh, I'm just walking down to see if I'm just running down the stairs you would feel the bumpiness more but you can always like improve the bumps in post-production so yeah that's not that's not it, it's not that bad it's not that bad like this the most beautiful thing about this camera is the body like the cam like the body of this camera feels so stiff and so steady like it's all it has that metallic structure and I don't think you can find the same thing in Canon and Nikon cameras and it's like very compact just the body is very compact but obviously if, you, if you're using different lenses the camera size would differ you know but if you look at the kit lens and if you're just using this camera with the kit lens it's like super small so you can just carry it anywhere the first drawback which I want to talk to you guys about this camera is the flip screen because with any vlogging camera people would need like flip screen and with it, like it's just missing in this camera without having a flip screen it gets sometimes it gets very hard for to vlog <laughs> because sometimes if I'm vlogging if I'm talking so much and then I realize that I didn't press the record button and I have to like say talk everything again because I couldn't see in the in the screen that it was it getting recorded or no and sometimes it's also very hard to see uh, if you are in the perfect frame or no so that's one of the drawbacks that's the first drawback the second drawback is the battery of this camera is not that strong so if you're shooting in 4k it would hardly last you and if you're using a mic on top of that so it would hardly last you say uh, 40 to 50 minutes like max so that's why you have to buy like spare batteries and stuff also I wanted to talk about the screen of this camera is like if you're shooting in a bright sunlight the screen is not that bright so you literally have to like hide hide the screen from the sunlight to see like what's getting recorded because the yeah the screen quality of this camera is the LCD screen of this camera is not that great 
like what I've seen in the other cameras. And the last one is the LCD touchscreen. It's just used to like select the focal points. You can't do anything else with the touchscreen. So that's, that, that's not a major issue. But the other three things are the major issue. So I hope that Sony would introduce uh, the flip screen and stuff next time. So I feel like that's, that concludes my uh, review about Sony A6500 with the Sigma 16mm lens. And if you're still watching, thank you so much for your time. And go check out my other vlogs as well. Like I've, I've been vlogging a lot not a lot but i've been uploading like every two or three videos every week and go check out my other videos they are all shot from this camera and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace gucci gang 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 spread their rats on new chain my bitch love do cocaine Ooh, i fuck a bitch i forgot name i can't buy me no wet rain rather go and buy ball mains